Ukraine we can buy cars in a different ways. We don't have such working system in Ukraine. Hi guys, I'm Andrew and today we will talk about cars. And uh, now I'm standing on car market in Kyiv, it's called Stolichny Market. It is early in the morning, uh, it's 7 o'clock, Saturday. A lot of people just gather to buy or to sell their cars. In Ukraine we can buy cars in a different ways. And for today the most popular is import cars uh, from America. And uh, less uh, than a year ago it was uh, a boom or period of import cars from Lithuania, Poland and Germany previously. Uh, and uh, the last one, but not the least, uh, variant is um, buy car here locally. It means uh, that there are a lot of cars uh, that were sold uh, as new cars or used cars uh, here in Ukraine. I have something to say to you. Personally, your subscription motivates me to record new videos. And surely, if you like my video, just subscribe right now, right here. More subscribers, more people see this video as recommended by YouTube. One remark, prices in the market could be higher than internet sites, and gap between them starts from $500 and goes up. And now we will see different cars and their prices. $56,000 for diesel of 2016 for Porsche Cayenne. By the way, while Europe wants to get rid of diesel cars, people in Ukraine have begun to buy it more than in the past. Because diesel fuel is cheaper than gas, so it's profitable. And I won't be talking about the pollution. And I decided to show you prices for gas in our country. So, one liter of gas costs $1.60. And one liter of diesel costs, in average, $1.00. If we count to one gallon, which equal 3.7 liters, one gallon of gas cost four dollars and thirty cents, and one gallon of diesel cost four dollars. To summarize, we have really high prices for the fuel. Sad. Americans Volkswagen, especially Jetta and Passat, are very popular in our country market. Price for this Volkswagen twelve thousand three hundred dollars of. 2012 year. This BMW X5 2007 year cost $17,300. And this Blue Jetta costs $9,000. The average price for this model on our market is between nine and ten thousand dollars. And here you can see 2012 Lada Kalina. It is only four thousand three hundred dollars. Why is it popular to import cars from America? Just think about it. Private company or people buy a car on online auction or like a part or etc. Then they wait about three months while car is shipping. After they need to fix it because all these cars were crashed. And uh, only after that they can drive it. Our people are ready to go all over these steps because they want to save money. Our Stolichny car market from birds are interesting just to watch. We can see prevailing colors black, white, gray and red. About model of selling and buying used cars in Ukraine. I can say it uh, in one sentence. The more car is shining, the more people want to buy it. This is human nature, guys. This is how it works for us. So, if a man wants to buy a car, he finds it in internet sites, we have two or three most popular in Ukraine. And then seller shows a car and uh, a person who wants to buy, inspect the car, go to mechanic and so on and so forth. I think uh, that there is nothing, something new in this scheme, so 
sure details exist, but they are really boring. We have a lot of such abandoned cars uh, in the city, uh, in some sleeping districts or dormitory areas, like I described in previous video, you can see. While I was preparing this video, I just uh, wondered about um, uh, scrapping and recycling cars. Uh, because I saw it only in films. So I will tell you how we do that way in Ukraine. In our country, there are huge amount of old cars. Uh, the majority of them is uh, between the age of 10 and 30 years old. Uh, so the older the car, the more pollution it causes. It's cold outside. Last week was plus 15 and now it is zero or probably minus, I, see, I think. Actually, we have a recycling scrapping uh, vehicle law in Ukraine, but uh, according to it, uh, it requires some steps uh, to do. Uh, and I think uh, that's why people or companies uh, don't do that way. Why I'm talking about that uh, in all these details? This is because um, we don't have such working system in Ukraine. Actually, it doesn't exist at all. Uh, and. Um, I even don't know any company which uh, provide uh, such service uh, like uh, scrapping car or something like that. And uh, even uh, after I googled it, I found only one <laughs> and I have uh, doubt about it. Why do we have such situation in Ukraine? Because it is unprofitable and therefore no one wants uh, to engage in it. But what we really have, it is uh, something like small junky yards in garages and um, I think that mostly they work uh, unofficially. The working parts uh, from cars they sell in and the metal also sell in and goes to scrap uh, iron points. It's really cold outside, so I decided to get in. Uh, so I can make an assumption that uh, in Ukraine we do not have such huge amount of cars, uh, that's why they don't need to be scrapping. And according to Wiki, Ukraine has 200 uh, vehicles per 1000 inhabitants. So I don't know where the old cars usually disappear or they really go to the villages or go to metal scrapping points. Um, and it is the situation uh, that we have. Guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like it, uh, it was useful for you, please put like, uh, subscribe, uh, so you know. See you.